Hello everyone, today I'm here with an update for the Little Book Club. First on the agenda, if you're not already aware of what we are reading for this month, for October, we are reading Vicious by V.E. Schwab. So if you would like to join in and read along, you have the entire month to do so up until the end of October. I'll leave a link down below to a uh, buy link through the book depository if you want to buy it. Otherwise, of course, you can always get it from your local bookstore or borrow it from the library and things like that. But this is what we are reading this month and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Now moving on to November. The theme for November is is Norway. So we're going to be reading books that are set in Norway or written by a Norwegian author. The poll is live and if you would like to vote I will leave a link directly to the poll down below in the description. If you want to vote you do need to use the Goodreads poll. Any comments or anything like that won't be included unfortunately but I thought I would go through and give a brief synopsis about the four books that we have to choose from. I just want to say I'm so sorry if I pronounce these wrong. I've never heard of most of these names before so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. The first one we have is The Solitaire Mystery by Jostein Garda. So this one sounds really interesting in terms of its format as well as the story. So we have Hans Thomas and his father. They go on a road trip from Norway to Greece in search for Hans's mother. And along the way, Hans comes across this really mysterious book. It's sort of like a memoir about this sailor who was shipwrecked on this island where a deck of cards came to life. And the book is kind of set out to reflect a deck of cards. So each chapter is one card from the deck. And it sounds like there's gonna be some really cool fantastical elements mixed in. So that is option number one. Now Next we have The Ice Palace by Tayo Vassars. This sounds like a kind of emotional book. It's about these two people. We have Sis and Un, and these two only spend one evening together, but when Un disappears, Sis is really, really impacted by this. Like I said, it sounds like this one could be a really emotional book. Next we have The Twist Rose Key by Tona Armhill. I believe that this one is a middle grade novel, and fantasy. The main character Lynn receives a mysterious package and inside is a key which unlocks a door into this magical world. So this world is inhabited by animals which shared a special connection with children in the real world but in death they are delivered to silver and they kind of watch over the children that they shared this connection with. And Lynn comes across Rufus which was her beloved pet and I'm not too sure but the synopsis mentions petlings and wildlings. I think that the petlings are like the children's pets and the wildlings are tamed animals. I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that, but I believe that the magic that they have is kind of failing so Lynn has to try and find a way to restore it. It sounds like it'll be a really really adorable and fun exciting read. And our last book is Buzz Aldrin, What Happened to You and All the Confusion by Johan Hastad. So our main character Matthias, he's a 30 something year old man, he's a gardener and his idol is Buzz Aldrin, the second man on the moon. And then one day Matthias wakes up on a road on the Faroe Islands and he has no recollection of how he got there. So like I mentioned the author of this book is Johan Hastad and I read one of his other books earlier this year which was 172 Hours on the Moon which I really loved, I really enjoyed so I'm very interested about this one. So those are the four options of books to choose from to read in November and again I have left the link to the poll in the description down below. I believe the poll finishes around roughly the 16th of October so you have until then to vote. And before I finish up with this video I have one more thing to share and that is the theme for December. One of my favourite months of the year because Christmas, my birthday, just lots of happy times. And I decided to go for the theme zombies. We're gonna do zombies guys. We are gonna do zombies. I'm excited. I haven't read a zombie book in a really long time actually. So when I do have the discussion thread live I will leave a link to it down below where you can nominate books that you would like to read in December that are related to zombies. You're also more than welcome to leave suggestions in the comment section of this video down below and I will include all of that on the Goodreads stuff and then compile all that for the poll when it comes to choosing those four options for December. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really excited to see what gets chosen for November. So vote away and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!